Hello YouTubers, um, okay I'll give you a quick description of what the video is going to be, um, it's me playing with uh, Fred again, uh, but this time we're doing like match match play right, and um, I'm actually, for the first time in a very very long time, I'm actually trying not to try anything in matches, because I'm usually trying two or three things where I'm, my mind is focused on if that opportunity arrives, I have to go to this for this shot but this one I'm I'm not I'm playing a lot safer and uh, more instinctively um, as if it's a like a real pressure match like a league match or something so anyway uh, I'll send you the clip now uh, I forgot how long it is maybe like five six minutes and uh, yeah I'll give a conclusion afterwards uh, yeah enjoy <laughs>
Okay, so the conclusion. Um, yeah, great session. Uh, knee isn't feeling so bad today, actually. So hopefully it wasn't table tennis that done that. Um, although it's still possible, quite possible, but hopefully it wasn't. Um, yeah, I was feeling good. Um, I've realised like when I'm when I'm like not trying to take too many risks and 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 focus more on just playing the match how I want to play. I tend to relax a bit more and I tend to play a bit better. So, you know, I felt like I played fairly well today. I'm very happy with the progress. My twiddling is starting to come along nicely as well. It's starting to feel more comfortable. Uh, I should uh, note something about the grip because someone did ask. Um, I mean, it's probably nothing really to, to most people, but normally like I, hold, I held, held it like here on the pimples. Um, and I, like I remember watching a video about Marlong, I forgot what channel it was, and he talks about putting his finger down here and using the finger to add pressure to get more wrist in. Uh, now, when you're when I'm when you're very, it's easy to be relaxed like this, um, uh, rather than up here, and you just bring it down slightly. It's easier to be relaxed. You can get more wrist, um, and also it's very. I found it much easier to twiddle and then grab for the the, the very quick. Twiddles, um, but yeah, basically that's the grip. Now, I, I don't know if you can even see, but can you even see? I'm not sure. But like the way the pimples are, there's space here. I think there's possibly some pimples that don't have the space here for your finger. In which case, I don't know if it would be comfortable for you. But hey, you know, give it a try. It's worked for me. Um, oh. Um, sorry, I should say, so I was contemplating on doing a, a editing and just doing like all rallies, but the truth is, you know, that gives, it's a bit false. It gives you a, like an impression that I'm better than I am because the rallies look so good and you miss the, the shorter ones where, you, you know, where you're making a lot of mistakes or errors or, or just being beat out by the opponent even. Um, and that's, and cutting that out of the video I don't know. For me, I prefer it like this because also you can see all of the faults, right, that I make. So it's like people can learn more because they can say, oh, well, I make those mistakes. So I guess it's normal. Or, oh, he makes a lot of mistakes. That's probably why he's uh, losing more than he should, blah, blah, blah. You know, like stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that's why I've edited it like, edited it like that. Um, but, yeah, anyway, I hope, you know, people can learn from it and stuff. Um, but, yeah. Uh, until next time, I'll try and get some more match play with others and stuff. And I think when I play like this, it's a little bit better and I'm much more relaxed. So, you know, it's still good to keep trying stuff. But there should be times where I play like this. Uh, just to see really what sort of level I'm at. Even in the, the previous video, all of those matches, for example, I'm literally trying stuff. So, like, I, when I see that someone pushes... And I'm somewhat in position. I, I twiddle and I want to open that backhand. Even if I haven't quite read the backspin on the ball. I just have to go for it, right? Um, it's stuff like that. Whereas in a, in, a, in a pressure situation, in a match, I wouldn't do that. I'll just push the ball. Or if I've read the spin, I'll open up. Um, 
stuff like that. But my service receive in general is still pretty bad. Now, long pimples are not a crutch for services. You still need to read the service. So if you misread the service and you've gone for a chop block, for example, it goes in the net. Or if they put some backspin on it, you can't chop block that, right? So, yeah, I lose a lot of points from the serves. I would say if, if the opponent has decent serves or good serves, let's say the opponent has good serves or they hide it well, whatever, however you want to say it. Um, I would say I lose about three to four points per set from just from service receive. Um, but yeah, there's a long way to go. Uh, slowly, slowly getting better. Very happy with it. Um, yeah, if there's any sort of videos you want me to do, I may do a shot selection video next, but any suggestions, let me know. Uh, yeah, I hope the videos help someone. Uh, anyway, see you later.